Hey guys, how you doing? Stefano here again uh, from the Skill Trades College of Canada. I'm here to answer the most commonly asked questions that come up on Google whenever people Google stuff about electricians and uh, electrical apprenticeships. So let's see what we got. So the first question we got is a very broad one. Uh, what do electricians do? So as an electrician, you're responsible for installing all the different circuitry, whether it be in a house, so that would be residential, a commercial environment, like a commercial building, a warehouse, whatever, or industrial places. Um, you know, manufacturing centers. An electrician's job is to install all the electrical power needed, whether it's high voltage or low voltage, that is needed all around the world. Our next question is, what does an electrical apprentice do? So an apprentice is everything an electrician's job is, except you're gonna be following a journey person in the field, and it's important to watch them, try to understand what they're doing, so that one day you can do it yourself without them. So an apprentice is uh, just an electrician, but electrician junior, electrician light. You know, you don't know everything yet, but you will. And you just gotta follow him and he'll guide you along the way. So the next question is, how much do electricians make? Uh, this is a very broad range. Uh, when you're just starting out as an apprentice, you're looking at like 15 to 18 an hour, depending on the company where you work, what kind of work it is. And when you're fully licensed, I've had to say it's probably between 30 to $40 an hour. It's a lot depending on where you're working and what you're doing. Um, if you want to stand on the side of an airplane wing and do like high power line work, you could make like $70 to 80, maybe even $100 an hour. Um, and that's what's great about the trades is like, whatever you put in, you'll get out. So if you're a, like a hard worker, you're a go-getter, the sky's the limit for how much money you can make. How do electricians use math? So electricians use math. I get this question a lot in the classroom because students are worried that the math might get too crazy for them they won't be able to do it don't worry the math that electricians use is very basic it's this basic addition subtraction division multiplication um, the hard part is knowing where the numbers are coming from because now they're coming from real world applications um, which we, we use to calculate you know different amperages uh, voltages that we're allowed to put on the circuits to make sure that nothing overloads or overheats uh, so we don't damage any of the equipment we're installing uh, so I will say the math is not hard. The hard part about the math is just understanding where the numbers are coming from and how to use them. But our next question is, who do electricians work for? So electricians uh, work for electrical contractors, who the owner of which is generally a fellow electrician who's gotten his master's license. Uh, if you want to have your own electrical company, you either have to uh, be a master or have a master hired in your company. And obviously you would rather have you yourself be the master electrician so they can't hold anything over your head. When do electricians get licensed? So in order to get your license, there's two things you need. You need to complete all your trade schooling. So for trade school, there's three levels, basic, intermediate, and advanced um, that you complete at whatever college you might go to. Uh, but you're gonna go for trade school. And what's great about trade school is you don't pay for trade school, trade school pays you to go there. Uh, you're paid to go to school as a tradesperson. Um, so after you get your basic, intermediate, and advanced, you also need to have 9,000 hours of uh, on-site work experience. So once you have all three of those and your 9,000 hours, you can go write your licensing exam. And then once you pass that, you're a licensed electrician. Why should I become an electrician? So you should become an electrician if you uh, enjoy working with your hands. I guess what sets it apart from some of the other trades is it's maybe a little bit more, uh, a little bit more calculated. Uh, no offense to the other trades, but we do have to do a fair bit more uh, math and stuff. So if you still like, you know, sciences and intellectual and playing with electricity, uh, you still get to do that, and you still get to work with your hands. Um, the hours are great. You know, we might be up early, but we're also home pretty early before all the other nine to fivers come in. You know, we're usually on site for seven, uh, leave site by. 3.30, so you know you could be home by potentially 4 o'clock, 5 o'clock, plenty of time for any hobbies you might have, and uh, it's always in demand. I mean, there's never been a time when I couldn't find work. Um, the money is always nice, uh, you know, you get in what you put out, so if you really give the trade everything you have, it'll be good to you, and it'll return that in spades. Um, so that's why I think you should become an electrician. Well, thank you guys for joining me on uh, this video. Uh, if you want to keep up with all the Skilled Trades College videos that we will be putting out, make sure to hit the subscribe button. 
Uh, leave a comment below if you have any other questions that might relate to the trades or electric, uh, being an electrician or the electrical apprenticeship program that we have here. Uh, and we'll do our best to get back to you in the comments. Uh, so thanks, guys. This was Stefano. Have a great day.